Hey and welcome back to Through the Years. In this series, we take a look at the month's chosen pay-per-view, pick out a handful of our favourite women's matches to ever take place at that pay-per-view and simulate them in the 2K engine. This weekend's pay-per-view is of course Fastlane and was originally established back in 2015. Over the next week, we'll be simulating matches with a range from its very first pay-per-view all the way up to present day. If there's a favourite match of yours we haven't included in our list, be sure to let us know in the comments below and let us know what your favourite women's match is to ever take place at this pay-per-view. Also, don't forget to check out our official website www.therevolution.co.uk for all the latest news surrounding this month's chosen pay-per-view. The Irish last kicker. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Dublin, Ireland, Becky Lynch. What a career Becky Lynch has had so far here in WWE. Hey, listen, I remember when Becky Lynch first came to NXT, she had moved to Orlando, Florida to be a personal trainer. Never thought she'd get the opportunity to be part of this company, and now she is one of the premier superstars in our women's division. Credited with much of the women's evolution. Hey, Michael, Corey. What? It's glow time! I'm surprised you enjoy this this much, Saxon, seeing as how you're afraid of the dark. And her partner from Orlando, Florida, Naomi. Glow's like having a nightlight, so it's okay. Who once beat Naomi in a dance contest? Oh, no. Don't say it. I really did. Did you pull a muscle? She's got nothing on me. This is a two-time SmackDown Women's Champion and one of the best all-around athletes in the entire WWE Universe. But she continues to back everything she's done in the past up with substance here in WWE. How can you not bob your head, Corey, when Naomi comes out? How can you not get lost in the moment? Go ahead, Naomi, get it, girl! I'm an unbiased broadcaster, Saxton. Or just a grump. Mella is money! And their opponents, first, from Staten Island, New York, the Princess of Staten Island, Byron, are you ready to admit the truth yet? That Carmella's the most obnoxious woman in the entire women's division? You are delusional. Mella is money. Carmella, unbelievable career thus far in WWE. And the sky's the limit for this young lady. Yeah, she would have you believe that she has done it all. She, she has. has! By herself. What are you guys, both on the bandwagon or something? I started the bandwagon. And her partner from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Natalia. Product of the Hart family dungeon carrying on the legacy of the legendary Hart family in sports entertainment. Natalia always ready to handle things inside the ring. Now the daughter of Jim the Animal Nightheart, the niece of WWE Hall of Famer Brett the Hitman Hart. Got the power of her father and the finesse of her uncle. 
Maybe the most respected superstar in the entire women's division. It's known that Becky Lynch has had friction with Carmella since their days in NXT. But when Carmella robbed Becky of becoming the first Miss Money in the Bank, that brought the tension between the two to a boiling point. Well, can you blame Becky, Michael? She had the Money in the Bank contract won until Carmella drilled her with a chair from behind. That put the Staten Island Princess directly in Becky's sights. Now about that Becky Lynch-Carmella rivalry, gentlemen, I find your observations horribly biased. Talk about revisionist history. The Princess of Staten Island did what any other woman in that match would have done. If Becky can't accept that, it's just too bad. Becky was inches away from the briefcase, Corey, until the blatant interference from that lackey, James Ellsworth. It was total injustice. Boo-hoo. That'll mess up the back of your neck. Oof. be in a bad way here. When she agreed to this match, she knew this wasn't going to be easy. She's putting up quite a fight here, Cole, but despite that, now is probably a good time to look for the tag. And she escapes the submission. Not a lot of people can break out of that one, Michael. Drop kick. Natalia's version of the sharpshooter taught to her by her uncle, WWE Hall of Famer Brent. Hitman Hart is perfectly executed and can snap an opponent's back like a twig. Oh, nasty impact. One more time. Uh -oh. DDT. Natalia has certainly learned this business from some of the best. When the Queen of Hearts takes that first step and turns over her opponent, the sharpshooter's locked in, which means it's all over for Natalia's adversary. The sharpshooter's one of the most famous finishing maneuvers in sports entertainment. And a pin attempt. Oh, straight forearm. And Peggy Lynch powers out. She's still in this one. Ring rattling. Oh, my God. It... I'm going to go on the record right now and say Natalia is the physically strongest woman in sports entertainment. There's no way anyone can match power with the... There it is! Natalia is rolling now. Beautiful technique. Oh, what a slam. Ooh. Nailed it. We'll switch here to Carmella. Natalia has incredible strength and the ability to channel that strength in different ways. It would not be wise for an opponent to try and get the best of Natalia in the power department. There are so many things a superstar needs to be wary of when locking up with the Queen of Hearts. But the first thing Natalia's opponent must accept is they can't try and match power with a third generation superstar. Bad idea. Double axe handle smash. Hurricane Rana! Drop kick! Beautiful! Can you believe this? I love it. Carmella is more dangerous than ever. The Princess of Staten Island is filled with a hostility we've never seen before, so if a superstar is going to go up against her, they have to strike early. Boom! Ho, ho, ho. Natalia comes in off the tag. Really working over the body. Corey, before you mention that Carmella is more aggressive than ever, Stepping through. Oh. Grab the legs. Sharp shooter applied. That could be a game changer. The situation just got real bad for Naomi. Harsh impact.
You've got to believe this one's over. What should Naomi's mindset be at this point? You can see her partner wants to get tagged in here. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed, and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Axe handle finds its target. Oh, what a close line. Forcefully delivered. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week and conquer a variety of opponents. To see the Swiss Cyborg and Celtic Warrior go from unwilling partners to WWE Raw Tag Team Champions was truly impressive. She's on the attack and on the move. One thing nobody... Naomi is sizing up the situation. Trying to turn the tables. Ooh, what? How about Naomi? Ooh. Nice move by Naomi there, guys. She's a lady that can turn it on quickly, no doubt about it. Vicious attack. The slam! Bulldog! This might be it! Oh, my! And she's trying to flip the script here. Easier said than done, Michael. Leave it to Saxton to call Carmella's Money in the Bank victory controversial. Of course, shoulders down, this could be it. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Dug down deep and gets the shoulder up. She kicked out there, but I don't know how much more she can take. Locked in! It's locked in! I bet you feel foolish riding her off now. Schoolboy! She gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. What a stomp. Good grief. Hard landing there. Nothing to worry about. Just a little misstep on her part. Escapes trouble there. Oh, right to the jump. Time atomic drop. I don't have you walking funny. Ooh, nasty impact. Carmella wants everyone to know that she's in charge. For as good as Carmella is, Corey the unfortunate going for super kick. This match is slipping away from Naomi here. There's a pin now. That could have been it right there. Another great tag team match here tonight. I don't think the tag team scene has ever been hotter here in WWE. Well, Corey Curley has no issue with Carmella's nefarious in-ring style, but Byron, her opponents most certainly do. They do, Michael, but they also know what they're getting into ahead of time. So they know that they have to be on the lookout all match long for any shortcuts Carmella might take. Boom, what impact! Nailed it! And oh, now, my God, what a forearm! Good job. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Oh, big boot. Natalia. Oh, sit out power bomb. That's it. That's what she needed. Real close. Too close for cover. Wow, Naomi does her story family proud by powering through here. Sharpshooter applied. That has got to be it. What a huge opening for Natalia. A oh, boom! Oh, oh, swept the leg right out from under. And we have our winners. These ladies put on quite a show. Here's another gander. This was another great moment. Man, this was great. She's taking care of business. 
And if you don't enjoy watching her perform, there's something seriously wrong with you. Here are your winners, Carmella and Natalia. What an incredible submission move. And here's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. There's no way around it. When you're locked in a submission move like that, your only choice is to tap out. Folks, you're just too...